Thomas. Hey, congratulations, Black Carpet premiere for City of Dreams. I saw that you're attached to this project. I'm a, an exec producer. I saw the film at Mammoth, fell in love with it, met Mo, uh, really believed in the, the film, first of all, as an entertaining, as a well-made, well-crafted, really well thoughtful movie first. And then the message, of course, that it uh, portrays is incredibly important. I had no idea that there were millions of slave, ch child slaves around the world today. So who knows, you know, maybe something like this, if we keep making art that shines a light on the darker side of human existence, so we might be able to uh, become agents of change. I was going to say, you, you choose a lot of... Uh projects that basically is near and dear to you. Absolutely, yeah. No, I, I, I have been fortunate in that regard. I try to do things that mean something to me personally. Uh, but this film is special in that it has a chance of shining a light on some darker aspects of human life that we'd rather not look at. Well, one, one last thing. What call to action should audiences have after watching City of Dreams? There's a website, City of Dreams, where you can go on there and, and learn which organizations that we support and that are actually doing things for change. So I highly recommend checking out the website, City of Dreams, after you've seen the film for, uh, for further, you know, raising awareness right now is the most important thing. So sharing on social media, getting the word out there, that's what that's what we need right now. And then people tend to step up with different ideas about how the hell we stop this. Mm -hmm. Well said. Thank you very much for yeah, you bet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.